When I was younger my father lived across from a graveyard which I thought was the coolest thing in the world seeing that I had always been very interested in the paranormal. There was a very large empty field of weeds and dry grass that went up to our knees in between our road and the graveyard which almost made it even more eerie. The second we got OT the house I was upset that my sister and I had to sleep in the basement alone. There were 13 red stairs into the basement but our dad laughed at my concern. I didn't know much about paranormal and evil with numbers but I had a very off feeling about the stairs. The first experience we had was me and my sister staring out of the doorless room from my mattress on the floor. We listened to a woman's very quiet voice try to lower us out into the darkness, I felt a strong urge to go and come with her. But something felt off about her so I made sure that I stayed with my sister to keep her safe. This must have made her mad because about the second or third night in the basement we started hearing someone walking up and down on the stairs, sometimes on all fours. We always heard it whispering to itself but we ignored it as it was so quiet it could have just been nothing. That night something happened that changed my life and how I see the paranormal forever. It was another night and activity was more active than normal, the air felt and sounded like static and there was more movement in the dark than usual. We heard her run down the stairs, this scared my sister so she whimpered and climbed into my mattress right next to me. I grabbed her and we scooted all the way back to the wall. Right when I thought we were safe she finally presented herself physically for the first time. We stared into the darkness when on the top left of the doorway she poked her head into the room but something was very very wrong. My sister screamed but I was too shocked to move until it pulled its head quickly back into the darkness behind the wall. I drug my sister into the small bathroom connected to our bedroom. I always lied about the most important detail of that event to everyone I told it to and myself as well. I always said it was a girl with very long black hair and pale face which wasn't far off but my whole life I have tried convincing myself that was the real story because the truth was too disturbing to believe. It had my long brown hair. It had my face. It looked like me but pale, malnourished, and tired. I had always been praised and complimented for my very long hair but after that I cut it to my shoulders. Recently I asked my sister about the event and the house and she has no memory of it ever happening. I think it may have been too traumatizing for her to remember and seeing she was three years younger than me. I won't stir those memories up for her because I wish I forgot them too.